Hi, I'm Hilary Esser here at Cedarhurst Center for the Arts in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and I want to welcome you to this week's Digital Dose of Art. You may have missed us over the weekend. This program was formerly the Daily Dose of Art, something that we aired daily. Uh, it was developed in response to the COVID-19 pandemic when the museum was forced to shelter in place and temporarily close our facilities. But as we get ready to resume some of our normal programming and reopen our buildings, um, we will be uh, transitioning this into a weekly digital dose of art. We got such a good response to it that we wanted to make sure to continue this program and so we thank you so much for tuning in every day and we hope that you'll continue to check back with us each week as we continue to bring you um, uh, our collections and, and various tidbits digitally. So today for our first digital dose of art I am going to share with you this wonderful, beautiful, fascinating sculpture created by Harry Batoya. Uh, Harry Batoya is a very well-known artist. He was born in Italy in 1915 and showed uh, very promising artistic skills at a very young age. So at age 15, he actually moved to America uh, to hone his artistic talents. Bertoya is very well known for uh, jewelry making and print making and furniture design uh, and of course for sculpture, which is what I'm going to share with you today. Uh, what's fascinating about this particular piece of sculpture, it's called a sonambient, is that it's a musical sculpture. And so if you touch it, it actually makes music. Uh, Harry's family was very musically inclined. Several of his family members played multiple instruments, and so he always said he wished there was a musical instrument that one could just pick up and play without really uh, having any sort of, of training or skills. And so he created thousands of these sonambient sculptures during his lifetime. Cedarhurst is very fortunate to own two. This particular piece uh, was created in 1977. It's on display in our Bonin Permanent Collection Gallery. We have an additional one that's about five feet tall, uh, and it's a little larger in scale, and it's uh, kept back in our administrative offices, so you're always welcome to come back there and view that as well. Um, one thing about artwork is that we really don't allow people to touch the artwork here at the museum. It can be damaging, you know, the oil on our fingers and such. Uh, you can see we have a sign on this piece that says, please do not touch. However, in order to give you the full effect of this wonderful piece of art, I did get special permission from our curator today uh, to play it so that you could hear uh, just how beautiful the sound is. And so uh, I am going to be putting on a glove since I'm going to be touching the artwork. That's a way to ensure that we keep it safe uh, from the oil on my hands. And so I'm going to don this glove so that I can show you just how beautiful and magical the sound of this sculpture is. So. The ringing is beautiful. I love the sound that this creates, and I'm excited for the opportunity to share it with you today. So thank you so much for joining us for our first weekly installment of the Digital Dose of Art. I hope you will tune in again next week, uh, where one of my fellow coworkers will be bringing you another piece of work uh, from our collections and from our featured gallery exhibits. Thank you so much for joining me.